Hey, everybody. Uh, it's me, Kenny White, uh, artistic director and curator here at the City Art Salon. That's where we are right now. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on some of the things that's happening with us uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, right now, we're, um, our current exhibition is Dialogue 3, uh, Abstraction and Conversations with uh, the art of Alice, Allison Hudson, the sculptures, and the prints on the wall here, and the uh, beautiful uh, array of uh, work here. And um, Albert Fong, uh, the paintings, uh, the abstract uh, paintings, and which he, you'll hear what he has to say about that in the um, artist talk. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the, uh, this current exhibition is up until April 13th, uh, at which time we'll have a closing reception. I uh, hope you can make it. Uh, the closing reception, again, is April 13th from 2 to 6. Uh, it would be great if you can come down and check it out. We, you know, we love your support. Anyway, um, we also, I wanted to let you know that our next exhibition will be April 20th um, from 2 to 6. Uh, that's a Saturday. Uh, we'll be featuring the uh, self-portrait paintings of Lauren Peters. It's absolutely awesome work. Um, and I guess I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to show some of my portraits also, uh, photography. So it should be interesting to, to, um, to just the position of the, of the work. Uh, and uh, kind of looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've shown anything. And uh, yeah, I just thought this might be a good opportunity to um, have the two uh, uh, disciplines together. Uh, and you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that's which what's coming up. And stay tuned, because after this, we'll be showing you excerpts from our recent artist talk with uh, Albert Fong, and some photos from the artist talk and the opening. So with that said, I want to thank everyone for your support. And uh, we hope that you will continue to support what it is that we do here at the City Arts Salon. Thank you. And here's Albert Fong. My concern has always been uh, space. So, you know, I'm going to return to something that Robert Zur said to me uh, at the opening reception. He says to me, he just walks up right up to me without any uh, pretext, and he says, you don't really think of yourself as an abstract painter, do you? And I, and I said to him, with, you know, without reservation, I said, no, I, I don't. Um, I actually think of myself as... Uh, a visionary landscape painter. In other words, like these are all spaces th that are, like I said, of, of a visionary nature, um, and which I which I paint uh, expressionistically, you know, with, with feeling uh, and, and physicality. I mean, I think that it's not just like about emotions; it's about like you know, my my body in, in relationship to this imagined imagery. Um, and, um, and a big part of what my art, my expression is, is, is that the kinds of spaces, the way that some areas feel like they compress and contract and stretch out, um, that the spaces in, in, in how they almost gesture, um, It's like, it's like a person dancing, um, you know, expressing that way. Um, and that, and that's like probably the most concise, uh, statement I've ever made in my life about what I do. <laughs> um, um, and if, so if you all have any questions about what I do, I'd be, I'd be very happy if you, would like me to talk about any particular piece, you know, in, in specific, I'd be very happy to. Um, if anything, um, okay. So, so this piece, 
Well, first thing I should say about this is that I actually, on my website, I wrote like a very, very, very long, like um, it's almost like separated, that's whereby I would make a drawing on paper, um, print it out, oh wait, I do a drawing on paper, I would scan it to the computer, manipulate it in Photoshop, darken it, lighten it, crop it, stretch it, do whatever, print it out, then I'd paint and draw on it, scan it again, manipulate it again, print it again, draw on it again, paint on it again, scan it again. And in some cases I would like, instead of scanning, I would actually photograph it and so that I could shoot it from an angle and create distortion and foreshortening, bring it back to the computer, change it. So in this way of just constant transformation, um, the point is not to just like do all these gymnastics for their own sake. The point is each and every time I do that, some of my sensibility, whether I'm aware of it or not, kind of creeps in. And like even despite myself, I just change it in a way that is just following my, well, following my gut, obviously. Um, um, I change it in such a way that I make it more and more particular. And, um, and, and that's how these like, four pieces, then I collage them together, and then, and, and then I finally glued it onto, this is actually um, uh, paper stretched over panel. So, so it's paper stretched over panel. I did pastels and watercolor, some acrylic medium, more pastels and watercolor. I glued the prints, and then more painting on top of that. And again, so I, I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not telling you this to like give away my secrets. I'm not doing this to talk about the gymnastics or the acrobatics of painting. Like what's important to me is that extending the process, like creating a cycle where I, I, I have to keep, I have to keep putting more thought and more energy and I have to keep changing and changing and changing. Um, it's, I'm basically almost like pulling things apart so I can inject more and more uh, of my thought into it, and my feeling into it. Yeah. yeah. I, the word that comes to my mind when you're talking is transformative. Yeah. That's what I get. Yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, the evolving, organic, transformative. Yes. Um, and another word that I think about a lot is alchemy. Taking something and making something else, mm -hmm. searching for gold, mm -hmm. searching from gold from lead. Yeah. Uh, as a younger artist, I would always think it's not enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I would always like uh, rework and rework. And I actually, I must say, like if speaking about that, like in younger days, I think I think I destroyed many good paintings, mm -hmm. <laughs> not realizing or not accepting that it was actually I had something. Yes, absolutely. So it's very important for me um, to stay swimming, to be in a kind of like elevated frame of mind. Yeah, and each piece, do you feel you have any different relationship with? Like you're stepping Well, away? both, both. See, like, so each painting is separate, but like I might, just like we were here just before we started, like we started having the same conversation among actually bridging two or three different topics, but having almost the same conversation, you know, um, cause, cause that, that, that's how paintings are. They're all different, but all the same. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so the reason to keep, um, jumping from place to place is, is, is that when I am on thread of a, of a thought, like I can carry that from, from into a different conversation. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Do you ever feel when you're working on something that in order to think at a certain level, you have to get away from it and go into something else? Because if you stay in that one, you're in your place and keep going, 
get to Delhi, your brain to destroy. Yes, clearly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes it, it, it's 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 worth it to like hang in there. And 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 stew on it, right? And be just let yourself be frustrated. Let myself be frustrated. I believe that there's benefit in that process. Um, but other times, if I feel like I'm getting stuck, um, then it's time to move on. And then, and then often, so I, in my studio, I'll have like 20 or so pieces up at the same time, all in progress. And so. When, when I'm stuck on a piece, then it's time to turn it to face the wall so you can't look at it anymore. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Go away. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then come back at it fresh uh, another time. Um, yeah, absolutely. 